And that could be a little bit of a problem if you're trying to see some shooting stars the next couple of days. It's the famous Perseid meteor shower, arguably the, one of the most famous meteor showers that we have, just because when you go out to see it, uh, You've got uh, some warmer weather. You don't have to be bundled up in a blanket in the middle of the night, but uh, we do have some rain chances, some extra cloud chances the next couple of days as well. But the peak will be Tuesday night, and the problem is the moonlight will be about 89% full on the moon. And so that's a lot of light to cast in the sky, making it a little bit tougher to see. Not impossible, but instead of maybe seeing Oh, one meteor every two to three minutes. You may see a meter every five to 10 minutes. So some shooting stars are possible the next couple of days. If you want, though, the peak is Tuesday night, but it runs all the way to August 23rd for the meteor shower. So maybe if you wait later in the week, rain chances and cloud chances will be a little bit lower and uh, we'll also have a little less moonlight later this week as well. But hey, you look up, Julia, you may see a shooting star. That will be really cool. It's 441. A Southern Indiana team was so close this 